Hello everyone, it is the Jesus Man, also known as the Shizwiz. And it came to my mind today that I wanted to talk to you guys about Jesus Christ and explain to you guys who he is according to the Holy Bible, what's written down. Because there is a lot of confusion, a lot of confusion regarding who Jesus Christ is. A lot of people think he's only a man. A lot of people recognize Jesus Christ as God and they don't recognize him as the son of God. So since I can explain this, it's been given to me by God. I can explain this through the Bible, through the Holy Scriptures. I thought, you know what? Let me just take the time to go outside, make a quick video and go over the Bible real quick and talk to these guys about who Jesus Christ is according to the scriptures. So Jesus Christ, according to the scriptures, is a prophet. He is the son of the living God. And he is also recognized as God himself. And I'm going to show you why this is, you know, according to what's written down so that you guys can have the understanding. Okay. So I'm going to take a seat right over here, open up my Bible right over here and explain to you guys why this is. So first thing we're going to do, right? We are going to go to John chapter four and read verse 24. All right, let me uh, flip the screen for you guys real quick. Okay, so John chapter four and verse... 24 it says right over here as you can see it's in red letters it says God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth okay so you guys see how this is in red letters right it says God is a spirit so when you see scriptures that are in red letters, that means it's the son of God, Jesus Christ speaking. That's Jesus speaking. So he is explaining to the people that God, the heavenly father up there is a spirit. God is a spirit. Jesus Christ is a man. The son of God is a man. So this spirit, right? That is God. Let's imagine that. 100% of that spirit is inside of that man. 100% of God is inside of the son of the living God. Okay? So 100% of God is inside of the son of the living God. Now, we're going to go to Matthew chapter 28 and read verse 18 because... After the death of Jesus Christ, after he was resurrected, right? By God, which is a spirit, the heavenly father. Remember, God is a spirit. That's the words of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. So by the spirit, Jesus was given all power in heaven and in earth. So all the power that exists in heaven and in earth, it was given to the son of God, Jesus Christ. And that is in Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18. We're going to read that. All right, so let me go ahead and flip there real quick, okay? Flip to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. Because there's a lot of confusion nowadays. People don't understand why Jesus Christ is recognized as God. And I'm, I'm going to get to that right now. So Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18. Let's, let's go ahead and go there. So it says right over here, right? In Matthew chapter 28... And verse 18, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power. See, this is the part I was just talking to you about. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. This is Jesus speaking right here. He's one that's speaking. It says, Jesus came and spoke saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth 
So, we have to look at the facts here, right? Jesus Christ is a man. He's a man. His father, which is God, is a spirit. After Jesus Christ had died and was resurrected, right? Imagine the spirit giving over to Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, all the power that there is, all power that exists in heaven and in earth. He has all power, Jesus Christ does. This is why Jesus Christ is recognized as God. And I was trying to say this the other day ago when I was um, in this interview with Mech about the corruption in the Smash community and how the Smash community has tournament organizers that are corrupt. When I got to the part of my faith, I would have liked to explain more of this. But sometimes you need more time to speak. You know, this is a the Bible is a subject that takes a lot of time and there should be a lot of speaking regarding it. So now that we have that clear, right? This is the last part that I'm going to go over is that that man, Jesus Christ, is recognized as the son of the living God. He's recognized as God's son. That's who that man, Jesus Christ, is. So we're going to go to Matthew chapter 16, right? We're going to go to Matthew chapter 16, and we're going to read from verses 13 to about 18 or 19. Because this is when Peter recognized Jesus Christ as the Son of the living God. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Matthew. We're going to open it up to chapter 16. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask me. Feel free to write me at my email, ChristlikeKingdom at Yahoo.com. Feel free to write me. Um, I will answer any questions, all questions. Just if you try to argue with me, I will not argue with you. That's one thing that I don't do. I don't argue about this. You can ask me questions. So Matthew chapter 16. Let's go ahead and start at verse 13, okay? Let's start at verse 13. It says right over here, When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I am? the son of man am. So Jesus is asking his disciples right here. He's saying, who do men say that I am? Who do they think that I am? That's what Jesus is asking them, right? Let's go to verse 14 now. And they said, some say that you are John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. So some of them thought that Jesus Christ was John the Baptist or one of the prophets. That's what they were just telling Jesus right there. Some say you're Elias, one of the prophets. Okay, let's, let's continue, all right? Let's go to verse 15. So in verse 15, he saith unto them, but whom say ye that I am? So he's asking them, yeah, but who do you think that I am? But whom, who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. So Peter knows who that man, Jesus Christ is. He says, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. So when Jesus heard what Peter said, he said, You are blessed, Simon Barjona, because flesh and blood did not reveal that to you. Flesh and blood did not reveal to you who I am. But my father, which is in heaven, he is the one that revealed to you who I am, that I am the son of the living God. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. 
The Jesus man is out. The Shizwiz is out. If you have any questions, feel free to write me. If you want to argue with me, that's not going to happen. Ha, I'll see you guys later.